Okay, it's been a while. So I am lost, but it's okay. Wait, what? Okay, maybe it's not okay. What am I doing? Going back here, I guess? Yeah, I keep forgetting to record for some strange reason. Uh, nope, okay. Not Kronos. But you know, me forgetting to do shit. Is that exactly what keeps this channel interesting? No, it's not. <gasps> You're a kitty! Hey, Socks. I didn't know you liked to wander around here. I'm a cat, but I like to wander everywhere. Huh? That light, could it be? That sucks find these things anyway. Uh? Needed that. Whoa. Yep, there you go, white boy. Hey, feel a little lighter maybe? You're welcome. Hey, socks? Where'd he go? Doesn't matter. Oh, this must be it. This will be the only other place that's in any of my operable flashbacks. That's a shop owner. He's a real pile of shit. Wait, what'd that say? Say, I wonder if this is where Emily Asher bought me that clock. Good question. Hmm. Nothing here. I know this place. I just came back here after running around for no reason. This is where our secret hideout used to be. Hey, do you have any flashbacks for this place? Here? Yeah, this is where Shiloh used to be. The place where Ben changed. If you can save Shiloh, who knows? Maybe Ben won't change. Huh? That's it, yeah. I have the flashback, but I can't open a hole yet. Oh, yeah? Well, should go in and take a look? That she would have been further in, in the back room. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah! Hey, shit pile. Further in. I'm picturing on the other side of where the counter is now. What should I do? What else can you do? You gotta go back there. I know, but can I at least get all the facts straight before I do? I'm going behind the counter and that's me all the info I need. What kind of facts do you need? I can tell you a few things. Lay it on, my brother. What day was the typhoon? I get it. Shellhand died in the typhoon that day. Is that the angle you're thinking of taking this time? Yeah, that should work. You know when the typhoon hit? Not the exact date. I know it was August ten years ago. But we can look it up somewhere. So where was Shiloh? I heard it was up in that tree and Shiloh was tied to its base. It would have been about where the counter is now, beyond it. How about the library? Huh? So we can look up the date of the typhoon. It should have back issues of the newspaper. Those'll do. Good looking out. Yeah, that's how I roll. See ya, white boy. Come on, Ethan. Let's ditch this popsicle stand. Excuse me, poopsicle stand. Moore seems to think we can research that lightning strike in the library. Let's do it. Yep, yep. And that's why I clicked on it the first time. Because I wanted to go there. Hey, it isn't Ethan. Oh, hello, Ethan. What's up, girls? Excuse me, we need to look something up. In the newspaper archives, right? What would you like me to look up for you? My event, I suppose. Are there any articles about August lightning striking Kako 10 years ago? One moment, please. This one match, I'll copy it for you. Thanks, Sarah Bear. Article lightning strike, 5.40 p.m. on August 12, 1998. Will that do? That should do, that should be enough. Let's head back to that shop. Uh-huh. 
Probably think we're some kind of weirdos over there. Who cares? Gotta help Ben. Storm article. An article about the lightning strike that occurred at the secret hideout at 5.40 p.m. on 8.12.98. Now I can do some more research on the day of the lightning strike. Guess now I should be able to undo the incident with Ben. Yeah! So pumped! Hope I can do it in one hole. That's what she said. I know the time and the place. Now it's time to take care of that lightning strike. Hello. Oh, see you again. Uh, excuse me. Yes? May we please see the back room? We'd like to get a good look at the furniture in there. It's good enough. If I change the pass, this will all be fixed up anyway. Um, actually, those aren't for sale. Please? Just this once. Are you students over at Kako High? Why, yes. As a matter of fact, we are. I'm Ethan Kairos, a sophomore. And he's 17? Grow the fuck up. I graduated when I was 17. Really? I graduated from Kako High myself. Yeah? That was about 20 years ago now. I remember my homeroom teacher, Mr. Toombley. Yeah, that was it. Oh, we have him for a homeroom now. English teacher, right? Yeah, yeah, that's the guy. Wow, now you're taking me back. Must be fate. So how about doing two fellow Kako men a favor? Ah, why not? Just this once, though. Thank you so much. I think I heard that was a little further in. I think so too. Actually... <gasps> yep. Yeah. I had two girls from Kako buying a clock in here not too long ago. Said it was a birthday present for an upperclassman. Seemed pretty happy about it. Ashley and Emily, I'm guessing? Yeah, those two throw their money away on the dumbest things. <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. Hey, Morris? Watch your attitude, dude. Hey, Morris. Here's a good question. How did he know? It's glowing! This is it! Thanks, Morris. Now I can... Wait. Huh? Can I ask you something, Ethan? Boop. Sure. When you're done with this little project of yours. Yeah? Use your power on me. On you? I got a horrible score on my last exam. Horrible enough that I might not get into my dream college. Please, Ethan. Just once, I swear. I don't know, Morris. What? And after all my help? Come on, I'm begging you here. You don't know how embarrassing this is for me. Morris. Just let me take care of Ben first, okay? Okay. Talk again later. Oh, you sly little dog. No, he won't. I guess not even Morris is entirely worry-free. Yeah, he's like constantly taking tests. What makes you think he's not going to worry at all? But Ben comes first. I've got to save Shiloh. Let's do it. Uh... Yes, I should not have saved there. Alright. We got one shot. Mm. Here we go. Around here? That's a rope to keep Shiloh from getting away. We can only do something with that rope tying Shiloh up. I'll get a little acquainted with Shiloh. Now Shiloh's free. Alright, that should do it. Morse is fading away. You about done in there? Oops, yes, all set, thank you. What do you think? Nice stuff back there, eh? It's not really for sale, but I could be persuaded. Uh, not today. Oh, I see. But I can give you a discount. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Here's my card. The shop's address and phone number are on there, too. Thank you very much. Irving Wanjin, eh? Or Onigen. I like Onigen. 
Better hang on to this. See you later. Should have some new pieces in by then. Let me give you a call when they arrive. Just write down your telephone number for me, okay? Huh? But... We're getting a shipment from the same company that made the furniture in the back room. I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, I see. He did a lot of smoke around in his store and all. Guess I should go through the motions. Here you go. Thanks for stopping by. Irving Wanyan. Seems to be the owner of the Aeon Antique Shop. Also a total creeper and a pile of crap. Tyler should be saving sound. What happens next? Yeah! Take your head out. Shiloh's rope was cut, allowing him to escape the lightning strike. Shiloh managed to escape. Yeah! And you. When? When was this? It's a whole gang. Recently, too. Shiloh being all buddy buddy with us. Wait, you know when that was now, suddenly? Sometime recently. Shiloh looks happy. So glad I was able to save him. Ben started taking care of Shiloh after that. We all spend a lot of time with our canine pal. So where to next? Home? The park? Back to Kronos? Maybe everyone's at Kronos. I should stop by. Thanks for the hint. Make things a lot easier for me. No one's outside. How about inside? Hello there. Yo, Eve, over here. Thank goodness, everyone's here. What's up? You seem kind of spacey. Huh? Uh, nothing. What can I get you? Just a hot coffee, please. Everyone's fine. I did it. Oh, where's Morris? Phew, it's enough for me. I'll bring the rest home for Shiloh. Hey, Olivia, can you wrap this up for me? So Ben's looking after Shiloh. That's great. Sure thing. Give it to your doggy again, eh? Uh-huh. It's one of his favorites. Well then, guess I'll be going. All set, guys? But Ethan just got here. Oops, sorry about that, Ethan. I don't mind. We can all lead together. Check it out, Ben. Shiloh's as cheerful as ever. Thanks, Morris. Hey there, Morris. Hi, Ethan. Long time no see. Like, since I quit school, right? Quit school? What's he talking about? You remember what I told you, Morris. Huh? So you can change other people's lives. You're like a god, Ethan. Use your power on me! Never mind, it's nothing. Well, if you say so. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow! Roger Dodger? Yeah, see you later. Almost forgot. Here, Ethan, this is for you. What is this? My flyer. You know anyone with a dog, spread the word, okay? Dog walker, at your service. See ya! Later, punk. Shall we? Hey, Vin. Is this what Morris is doing these days? Yeah, he has a part-time job as a dog walker. Says he's saving up for obedience school. Since he's decided to squ quit school, says he has to earn the tuition all by himself. Wow. Remember, it was always Shiloh this, Shiloh that. Say he made the right choice, taking the plunge and following his heart. Wouldn't you? He definitely looks a lot happier now. Yeah, he does. So Shiloh had the biggest impact on Morris, not on Ben. Well, got some places to go, so... Alright. Beep, beep, beep. That's what he said, I swear. Should head back. What a day. I'm exhausted. Hi, Corey. Oh, damn it. Ethan. Corey. How did you fare this time? Better? I think so. Good. But all kinds of other things change, too. 
Oh yeah. But your experiences have become undone. Not everyone remembers the same things you do. Even those who know what happened before. None of them realize that they themselves have changed. Cory? Yes? I need to know. Who are you? I told you that I don't have a pen. But I know other people who do. Like your father, for example. <gasps> you know my dad? Is he alive? I met your father a long, long time ago. Now, I don't know. Same as you. I'm sorry. But... But what? Who gave you that pen, Ethan? Hmm? That's right. My dad's name was on that letter. Hasn't that pen been passed down in your family for generations? It's your inheritance. Actually, the letter said as much. I'll go home and talk to my uncle. Thanks. The hollow pin has been handed down through many generations of the Kairos family. So this pin belonged to my dad? Maybe Uncle Derek knows something about this. I'll track him down and ask him tomorrow. And then, drag my uncle into something big. That's what she said. To be continue. As I said, en France. I assume. Yes, I will save and I will also end this here. So I will holla at you later. And I hope this actually records. Otherwise, I'll give a brief summary of everything that happened. Okay, bye.